Um, so I'll do a, a check-in. Uh, for those of you who may be watching this video having not watched my previous ones, I'm just doing a check-in every now and then, um, giving you a, a rundown on my journey um, with cancer. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer on the 19th of December. I had a Whipple procedure on the 2nd of January, which is a, a massive abdominal surgery, um, which is a, a kin in impact to a, to a heart transplant. Um, and I'm waiting to start chemotherapy. Um, and I've been running a, a crowdfunding campaign to cover the business costs whilst I'm out of action, like my small business, um, cover some business costs whilst I'm out of action, because um, without me working, it's going to be very difficult to keep that running, and also to give some money to the charitable organisations that we're accessing. And I've been reading, um, we passed on that crowdfunding um, campaign, we passed £16,000 um, last night. And I'm utterly blown away. Um, as you'll see on the link, um, I'd, I'd, I'd intended to, to raise two and a half grand, which was enough to cover a, a month's expenses um, and to give uh, £100 to each of the charities that I had uh, been planning to give to. And we're at £16,000. I'm, I'm stunned. Anyway... There are 385 people, I think, who've donated to the crowdfunding, and I've been reading the comments, um, and I've been reading the comments on a number of the videos, and there are two words that keep coming up. There are two words that keep being left as comments. One is that I'm being inspirational, and the other is that I'm being very brave. Um, inspiration I can kind of understand because people take inspiration from dewdrops, don't they? On a, you know, people can take inspiration from. Um, the shape of a cloud or whatever. Inspiration is something you take rather than something that somebody gives. Um, and so I'm happy if you're taking inspiration from what I'm doing. Um, and if I am giving inspiration, I hope I'm inspiring you to, to live well and um, reach for your dreams and enjoy small moments and all those things that a shock, a, you know, devastating diagnosis like mine um, brings into sharp focus. The one I struggle with as a concept is bravery. Um, so people are telling me that I'm being brave and I I struggle with that because I didn't volunteer for it. You know, it's not like, um, it's not, a, a, this is my, it's my neuropathy glove, by the way. It's why I only have the one. I've got neuropathy in this hand. Um, bravery, it's not like I looked at experiences for 2020 and said, I tell you what, sign me up for the, for the life changing cancer diagnosis. Um, or you know, joined the army and put myself in harm's way, or, or, or I'm a firefighter that runs into burning buildings to save people's lives. So um, bravery to me um, seems to be something more associated with a, with a conscious choice, a, a volunteered choice. Um, so maybe maybe people feel I'm brave in being visible in the way that I'm putting these videos out, and, and maybe I am. But I've always been quite visible in what I've done with my business and it it would feel very odd to me to suddenly go quiet in a time when there are such big things happening for me and therefore my business because cancer when it comes into somebody's life affects everything doesn't it it affects your family it affects your well-being it affects your mental health it affects your work it affects so many things and so because I've always been so visible in the way that I've run my business it f would feel really strange for me not to be visible um, now through this journey and if you want to hear it then you know you're you're very welcome to do so um, and so maybe I'm brave in being visible but there is also um, there's a funny thing so I, but I'm quite an introvert which I know is bizarre as someone sitting here doing a live broadcast to whoever might want to watch but um one of the reasons why I'm doing these updates is so I don't have to have the conversation with every individual. And so to a certain extent, it might seem brave to you. It seems like the easy option to me because I can do a broadcast, do my whole update, and then I don't have to have lots of different conversations, bringing people up to date and repeat myself again and again and go, go through those difficult details with each individual. And so, um, again, is that a brave thing? Um, I don't know. It's just my character. Uh, and so there are these strange concepts, aren't there, kind of bravery and inspiration. So if you are taking inspiration, I'm delighted. I hope what I've inspired you to do is live your life well. Um, and in terms of bravery, um, I suspect that if any of you had this type of diagnosis, you would surprise yourself with the acceptance that comes. I can't fight it. You know, it's not like I can... I can um, Re rewind and say actually you know what I'm not getting on that path so 
I'd say my main overwhelming feeling, is it a feeling, is acceptance. Um, this is what it is and um, I will do my best through it and I will stay visible with it for as long as I'm able to. Um, and we shall see, won't we, when I start chemotherapy as to, as to how brave I feel and how visible I want to be. Um, I have been I have been finishing off uh, finishing off the book. The book uh, goes to press on Friday. I put the last nine amends to the second edition of Wall Street Marketing yesterday, um, and so that book will go to press on Friday, which means it'll be available on the thirty first of March. And we are planning a um, I think we're calling it Bryony's birthday book breakfast. It's a morning event on the thirty first of March, and we'll be sharing details of that just as soon as we've finalised the venue. Um, and so perhaps I'm being brave. It doesn't feel like bravery to me. Um, I'm certainly experiencing full acceptance of the situation. Um, and if I have given you inspiration, I hope what I've inspired you to do is live well. So for the next two days, Tom and I are off to the Penny Braun two day course, which is called Living Well with the Impact of Cancer. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to what they have to teach us um, and meeting other people on the same journey. And then um, this afternoon I've got my introduction to oncology, uh, two hour introduction down at BRI, really. So that's all becoming very real now, this concept of chemotherapy that's been out there in the distance is getting closer. Um, and that will be starting on the 26th of February, so we shall see. Anyway, that's my update. Um, lots of love from me. Thank you so much for everybody who has donated to the crowdfunding to have surpassed £16,000 when I set out to raise two and a half thousand is just mind-blowing and incredible. Um, so if I have been brave and I have inspired you, then I'm glad. Um, but I know that really what I'm doing is just being me. And that's the point, isn't it? Cheers, guys. Bye.